What's up, YouTube? Laughing Pikachu here. Welcome back to another Poke Hunt. This is also part of the 100,000 subscriber special, and I wanted to make this an epic Poke Hunt. So, what we're going to be doing today is picking up every single Pikachu EX10 that we can find. Right now, we are at Target, and unfortunately, at the front of the store, it looks like we don't really see anything, but I will go ahead and walk around to the back, and hopefully, we can see something um, in a second. But yeah, they got some cool EX boxes, they got some Break Evolution boxes, which are kind of nice. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, no Pikachu. Pikachu EX10s at the front of this specific Target. Alright, here is the back, and I don't know who works at Target, like, whoever, like, did this, and, like, they, like, stacked the tins, like, perfectly, like, I seriously did not do that, like, someone else did it, so whoever you are, probably not watching these, these videos, but thank you, like, you, oh my gosh, they look so awesome. Unfortunately, there weren't any Pikachu EX10s at Target either, um, so I hope that this video doesn't end up being, like, an epic fail, um, but, you know, the thing is, like, whenever I used to go to Target and Walmart, I used to see Pikachu EX10s, like, all the time, like, I literally went, like, last week, and I saw, like, a whole bunch, and now I don't see any, so I'm, I don't know, hopefully it all works out, we're gonna be going to Walmart next, so I'm crossing our fingers right now, but yeah, let's go. Alright, so here is Walmart, and guys, we did luck out. We, we did find some Pikachu tins, as you can see. So here is a look at all of the different things um, that Walmart had. They actually had quite a few different, like, break evolution boxes with the Ho-Oh and the Wobbuffet break. They also had Alolan collection boxes, Magirna boxes, Volcanion boxes, tons of cool stuff. They also had some older stuff as well, including, like, uh, some random, like, Gallade EX boxes, Snorlax GX box. That's kind of new, though. And then they had, like, a Latios collection box which had um some packs of roaring skies inside of it and then they also had a uh, mythical collection boxes they had like a keldeo genesect they had a zygarde pin box and i think they also had a victini box at the back as well so those are pretty cool uh, but yeah the main thing that we were looking for were um the um the pikachu ex tins oh and then i also found these things um I, I picked them up last time i picked up like three of them but this time i finally found some with some more roaring skies packs so i decided to pick up two of those uh, but yeah, I thought that those were pretty cool. There's the new, like, Walmart mystery item, but here is, like, the most epic, most wonderful thing of all time. A uh, mystery power boxes. So I did decide to pick up those three right there. Um, yeah, they had some random theme decks and, like, an Articuno theme deck, but here's the main thing. They had tins. Thank goodness. I, I'm just, I'm so happy. Unfortunately, they seem to only have two tins. Uh, we got one Pikachu tin right there, and then I picked up the other one as well. Um, but yeah, if you look at the back, um, they they had like a Venusaur, they had the Magirna Blastoise, and I think there was a Machamp at the very back there, but unfortunately there were only two Pikachu tins, which kind of sucks, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to go ahead and order them online, uh, because I wanted to do a huge opening of Pikachu EX tins, so um, unfortunately it didn't work out quite as planned, I also saw one that was like half open, like what's the deal with that, that was kind of sketchy, but anyways, um, so yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't find as many Pikachu tins as I had expected, um, and maybe we can continue the hunt another day, um, but yeah, for now, we only picked up two, which, not gonna lie, kind of disappointed. But anyways, here's us checking out, and the cashier lady was totally judging me, but that's okay. Alrighty guys, so here's a quick little recap of what we will, we were able to pick up from Walmart. So we got uh, two of these, uh, these are the Roaring Skies, like mini, mini like blister things from Walmart. There's a look at the back. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that, um, so like, I don't know how many of you guys watched the Dollar Tree opening that I posted yesterday, but I said I'm going to be dedicating like each video to a specific person. So today's video is actually going to be dedicated to Leon Hart because he was actually the one who like started a lot of these Poke Hunt videos and he was the one who actually inspired me to start doing videos like this. So um, yeah, huge shout out to him and thank you so much for all the contributions you have made to this channel. I've worked with him so much and he has just helped me so much through this YouTube journey and so huge, huge shout out to him. But yeah, here are the Pikachu tins and actually when I got home, I really these things are actually kind of weird so as you can see it looks like they were these tins have been packaged like a second time the other one too it's, it's really strange like so the, the first w reason that I like noticed that something was a little bit off is as you can see like the plastic wrapping on the outside looks a little bit weird and so I believe that um Maybe, I'm not actually sure what happened, but as you can see, there's like two rare, two layers of plastic. Um, and as you can see, there's like two layers here as well. Um, so yeah, I, I guess uh, maybe the plastic, the thin plastic on the outside ripped, and so Walmart um, repackaged it and put like plastic stuff around it on the second time. Um, but I know that, so this one, 
Like, it looks like it's so legit and sealed because it has, like, the sticker on it. Um, but this one, it's, like, totally missing the sticker and looks like someone, like, ripped it off. And then they put another layer of plastic on it. So, I don't know, like, if I should just keep these or I don't, I don't really know what to do. I, I should have, like, been more careful when examining these products in the store. Um, but, yeah, I don't really know, like, I, I guess they should be okay. I don't know, because the, the reason that I'm concerned is, like, when we went to Walmart, we saw that tin that was, like, half open, um, and there was, like, no promo card or, like, something, so, like, what if these tins, like, are missing packs inside? Like, once I open them, like, I can't return them, so I feel like it might be safer to just get these online. I don't really know, but anyways, I would love to know your thoughts on that in the comments. And then we also did pick up three mystery power boxes. These are the third versions. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. And I also want to take a minute and just apologize to you guys. Um, this is definitely not one of the most epic videos ever. I was planning on literally picking up every single Pikachu tin I had, I was able to find. Um, but we only found two. I was seriously thinking that we would find like 20 plus tins. And it just ultimately, it just didn't happen the way I thought it would. Um, I did order tins online um, because I did want to open up a whole bunch for like the 100,000 subscriber special. Um, so they're coming. Things don't go as planned sometimes and that's just what happens. Um, I'm really in no place to be complaining about not finding Pikachu tins because I know that, you know, the stores that I went to, um, you know, living in the U.S., I'm very fortunate to just be able to have, you know, Pokemon cards you know so easily available like I know that a lot of countries don't even have just mystery power boxes available and stuff like that so anyways I'm not gonna be complaining about Walmart or anything like that but I, I feel like it is necessary for me to apologize for you guys because it was really a, a video that I was really looking forward to making um, but sometimes I, I just I can't control what I'm able to find and what I'm not able to find so again I apologize that it wasn't as crazy of a video as I thought it would be um, but that's just what happens sometimes. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed. Thank you again so, so much for 100,000 subscribers. I'm looking forward to a bunch more crazy Pokemon hunts with you guys. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.